knowing that you're not just the best team that you're going to win is, is amazing. My impression of a Seahawks fan is like a hot air balloon. Just really, just a lot of hot air blowing stuff up. Cardinals fan. You're going to have a goatee, uh, a thick neck, Oakleys. Come on, really? Phoenix is literally in the middle of the desert. It was probably a nuclear testing site. We, the, we got the best fans in the world. Look at us. Uh, we dress good and we look good. Cute. Isn't that sweet? I absolutely hate the Seahawks. I really despise this fake creature. Number one biggest bandwagon fan base. What is a Seahawks? Have you ever seen one? Can I do an impression of a Seahawks fan? I'd have to start crying or I'd have to start walking away like a chicken. Yes, my dad. I got my dad here. Sorry, real dad, but. Uh, well, let's go back to this college days. Let's just say cheat. Infectious positivity. I mean, it makes you want to be like a better human in general. I'd like to smack him just a couple times. He's like a child. He runs around playing tag or something on the sideline throughout the day. It's amazing. He talks it, he speaks it, he tells it like it is. I love the guy. I don't even understand Bruce. Like, what's with the hat? Is he trying to be Spike Lee? Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Gotta respect the Kangol, baby. Gotta respect the Kangol. Somebody stubbed their toe and put glasses on it. He's better than Mr. T, you know what I mean? Best cornerback in football. Crybaby, entitlement issues. Arrogant, it's the only thing I can put that comes to mind, man, it's arrogant. His confidence is contagious. Oh, 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 oh it's, it's, it's a terrible thing. You know, he's got a big mouth on him, but, you know, he comes to play. Last time I checked, he, can still, he still can't cover half the people that's out there. This is the GOAT, the G-O-A-T, the greatest of all time. I want to hate him, but I can't. And you got, that's probably the only player on that entire team I have respect for. One of the greatest wide receivers of all time. They should get rid of that five-year rule after they retire and put him in the Hall of Fame immediately. I love Larry Fitzgerald. I love Larry Fitzgerald. Love you, Larry. Thank you, Patriots. One of the best plays I've ever seen. I don't, I don't remember that. This game, not basically, it did break my girlfriend and I up. Good job, guys. Good job. Sorry, guys. Toe on toe is not toe on the ground. That toe did not touch. I still don't believe he had two feet down. Sucks for you guys. My favorite number. I actually have it tattooed on my wrist. I think the 12th man is, you know, how many months you've been a fan of the Seahawks. Best fan base in football. These guys just bring the noise. This is not a 12th man. This is a bunch of children. 12th man, I think, also stands for their age, because I don't know if I know that many Seahawks fans are older than 12, and if they are, then they act like they're 12. When you live in Seattle, just see those 12 flags flying everywhere, just know that you're, like, a part of something. I mean, that's kind of cool. Every team's got a 12th man. They just made a flag. When you can connect with someone else who's a Seahawks fan, then you go through the emotional highs and lows of every game together. It's the tailgating, it's the groups, it's the fun, it's the experience that you get to have with a bunch of people all coming together to enjoy a day of football. Five o'clock in the morning, you get dressed and head to the stadium. The main love of football is just this guttural joy and angst and crushingness where it just, it'll grab you by the emotions and tug you this way and that way. It's not a hobby, it's a lifestyle.